plants are amazing. Just like us, plants are made of different parts and each of those parts has a special job to keep the plant healthy and growing strong. If you want to be a good gardener, you need to know the parts of the plant and what they do, just like a doctor needs to know the parts of the body and how they work. A plant is made up of many parts, each with a special job. Let's learn about the parts of the plant we eat. Have you ever wondered what part of the plant am I eating? Maybe you haven't thought about how all fruits and vegetables come from plants and that we are actually eating different parts of the plant. Today we will learn about six parts of the plant and their functions. We will also look at examples of each plant part. Let's begin. The roots are the part of the plant that is underground. Roots suck up water and nutrients from the soil and help to keep the plant in place. Examples of roots we eat include potatoes, radishes, beets, garlic, and onions. Let's take a closer look at some of our favorite roots to eat. If you look at the carrot, you'll notice that there's more than one plant part. However, we only eat the orange part, which is the part that grows underground, the root. We can also see this green stem and the green leaves, which we typically don't eat. Carrots grow underground, so we tug on the green stem to pull it out and enjoy it as a snack. Take a look at this sweet potato. It looks very different. If you notice, the sweet potato root has started to grow stems and leaves. The stems and leaves will grow above ground towards the sun, whereas the sweet potato, the root of the plant, remains underground in the soil. The stem is the part of the plant that moves water and nutrients from the roots of the plant to the leaves and the energy or food from the leaves to the roots. Examples of stems we eat include asparagus and rhubarb. One of the most popular stems that we eat is celery. If you look at the celery plant, we see two plant parts, the leaves and the stem, which is the part that we typically eat. Celery grows above ground up towards the sun. All parts of the plant are important, but leaves are especially important. The leaves are the part of the plant that turns sunlight and water into plant food or energy. This process is known as photosynthesis. Without leaves, plants would not be able to make energy in order to grow and be healthy. We eat all different plant leaves, including spinach, lettuce, collard greens, and kale. Other leaves we eat include herbs such as oregano, cilantro, and basil. Take a look at this basil plant. We can see several plant parts including the flower, the stem, and the leaves. While we don't eat the flower or the stem, we do use the leaves to flavor some of our favorite foods such as pizza and spaghetti sauce. Basil grows above ground towards the sun. Flowers are an attractive addition to our tables and yards, but did you know flowers have a special function besides looking beautiful? The flower is the part of the plant that produces new seeds. Our friend here is munching on sunflower seeds, which are harvested right from the center of the flower. You may be surprised to find out some flowers we eat include broccoli and cauliflower. The fruit is the part of the plant that holds and protects the seeds. Think about when you eat an apple, peach, or orange. Inside the fruit, among the sticky, soft flesh, you will find one or more seeds, cozy and comfy and well protected. Did you know that tomatoes are also the fruit of the plant? It's true. If it grows on a plant and has seeds inside, it's considered a fruit. Let me explain. 
If we are categorizing tomatoes by plant part, we call them a fruit because they are the part of a plant that contains seeds. However, if we are categorizing tomatoes by food group rather than plant part, they are considered a vegetable because of their taste and how they are used in cooking. The same is true of cucumbers, pumpkins, and squash. There are many different examples of fruit, so let's take a closer look. Let's look at a peach, a cucumber, and a honeydew melon. Inside the peach, we will find one large seed. This is also called the pit of the peach. Let's take a look inside the cucumber. The cucumber has more than one seed. These seeds are edible. And when we eat a slice of cucumber, we actually eat the seeds. This is different from the peach pit, which we do not eat. Let's take a look inside the honeydew melon. If we look inside the melon, we discover there's lots of seeds. How do these seeds differ from the peach and the cucumber? Speaking of seeds, what do seeds do? Well, the seed is the part of the plant that, when planted, will grow into a new plant. We eat many types of seeds, including peas, corn, sunflower seeds, and rice. Let's take a closer look. Each corn kernel on this corn cob is a seed that can be planted and grown into a whole new corn plant. That's a lot of corn. Today we learned that we eat lots of healthy and tasty foods that come from each of the parts of the plant. Next time you sit down for a meal, see if you can identify which plant part you were eating. The root, the stem, the leaves, the flower, the fruit, or the seed. Don't forget to fill up half your plate with fruits and vegetables.